yeah the cleaning process is completed in one of the pond i was like thinking i'll be able to complete it today but it really took me a lot of time so i've been able to clean up one of the spawn like this you can see this one i will need to continue tomorrow so this is where i'm gonna stop today and you guys are gonna stop here with me today and then when i come tomorrow you guys will see how i'll continue you see guys will see the process how i'm going to finish up everything and then probably transfer my fishes inside so yeah in uh, my previous video as i was saying the video that had a that is that I mean yeah my click my clip my video that is having the highest view so far is as regards this pawn and in that video there are things i only said it's not easy i was I'm only trying to show you guys around but let me use this opportunity to show you guys something things you need to do when constructing a concrete pond things you guys need to consider because i didn't show you guys in my previous video maybe i said it but i didn't show you practically so now i'm going to show you guys yeah after constructing your concrete pond it might be a block yeah after constructing you know Normally, it will be in an angle 90 form. By angle 90, I mean, we all that went to school, we understand what we mean by angle 90. But after construction, you don't need to leave your pawn. You don't need to leave the angle to be angle 90. If you leave the angle, angle 90, the water, the force of the water will be acting on that angle. And from that angle, your wall may be easily pulled down. So you don't leave the angle to be angle 90. You can see after constructing it, I have to place a board to cast it. I cast it in order for the angle to change from angle from a 90 to what you are seeing here. This angle is 60. Yeah. Can you see? You don't need to leave it to be angle 90. That is what I'm trying to show you guys. And also checking at the floor you know we're talking about water here and you know that water has a lot of force can pull down anything so the angle the floor still the floor you don't need to leave it angle 90 shouldn't be angle 90 should also do something like this can you see this I place this round so that the force of the water will not be able to act on that angle because if it's a sharp angle, if the angle is too sharp, water will have power to pull it down and before you know, your pond will begin to crack. Before you know, your pond will begin to crack from the under because once the under is cracked, sorry, you are done for. So you don't allow that to happen. You also cast round, that is okay, let me use the word, you cast round the angle nine, the 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 the, the, ang the down angle, you cast it down in a plane form. Hypotenuse, that is, you make it a little bit hypotenuse to the prop, the angle ninety that was there before. That is exactly what I did. Can you see? And for this wall, the marketing, the other pawn. Can you see? I have to use something here because. I now put something like here, like a pillar here, to hold the wall. Yeah, this is a, a demarcating wall. And then this is what is holding the demarcating wall, so that it won't collapse. Well cast. This is what is holding it. Can you see? So when constructing your pond, you don't just bring in anybody to construct your pond. You need to consider so many things. Yeah, can you see? This is where the water is my my top. Water do come into the pond from here. As I said, I need I'll, I'll finish up the work maybe before I transfer my fish inside here. And uh, 
here is another one. Here is another one. With this, your water won't go beyond this. Even if you should have a, a, a seven day rainfall, the water will not be, a, be able to go beyond this level. So the water will gush out from here, even if rain should continue to fall, or maybe you're pumping in water and you're not around to checkmate, that maybe you've forgotten that you're pumping water, the water will not overflow. In other words, your fish won't, your fish won't go out from the pond. So that is a, 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 that is a discharge pipe understand so here is it there's a pond as i said earlier you don't just bring in anybody to construct your pond it must be someone that have at least done it before someone that have the idea and if the person doesn't have any idea about it then from this video you should be able to tell the person this is how you are going to construct my pond don't even allow the person to say ah it will mm -mm. Tell the person should be able to tell the person this is how I want you to construct my pond. After making it an angle 90, this is what I want you to do. This is how I want the ground to look like. And here, before I forget, the ground, the ground itself, it must be smooth. Very, very smooth. The person that is constructing your pond must shine the floor, must shine it. Except you want to use tile. But if you are not using tile, you need to shine the floor very very well so that when you're removing your water or even if you don't remove your water your 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 fish will not be having injury because when you know your fishes they usually go down to the bottom of this to the pond then maybe they try to like uh, scratch their body there so i've been noticing that so if the if the down is not if the down is rough you'll be having you'll be seeing uh, your fish is having injury in their abdomen. So this is because of the rough floor, rough floor that usually cause your fishes injuries. So you need to ensure that there are no sharp things inside your pond. You have to ensure that there are no sharp things inside your pond. So this is what I was able to do today. I've, I've been able to discharge water completely. Yeah, can you see? is five blocks high which means more than four feet deep and uh, the length and the breadth is a very big pond very big pond yeah thank you guys for following me to my farm today thank you guys for watching my video if this video is helpful please do what to give it a thumbs up not just give it a thumbs up if you've not subscribed please subscribe to my channel sub for sub oh my god sub for sub subscribe to my channel sub for sub subscribe to my channel please thank you very much thank you very much thank you very much